Welcome to a quick tutorial on how to uh, provide a different type of assignment for your students and what it might look like for your student and what it's going to look like for you. In this particular case, I've got a form and I'm going to be asking my students to fill in the form. Now, this tutorial is not going to go over how to create the form and form design, stuff like that. Simply how to get it into Google Classroom, get kids answering it and get it submitted back. So I'm going to now um, open up my sample form and here it is um, very very simple little form in which they would have to answer um, in order to uh, push this out to Google Classroom the best way I have found is I'm going to click on send and in this particular case I don't want to send it by email I don't want to give them um, an embedded link which is what this is I want to grab the actual hyperlink for this form so I'm going to click on the hyperlink and I'm going to click on copy um, and now I'm going to close that. That's all I'm going to do there. I'm going to come back over here to my classroom and I'm going to create an assignment and I'm going to follow my naming convention one point. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and call this uh, 2.1. Uh, fill in the form. And again, I'm being very ber verbose. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to because I've got a hyperlink to give them, um, I'm going to click on the hyperlinking. Before I do that, let me just be clear. I could have also done this through Drive, but um, my personal preference is to do it through a link. I'm going to paste that link in there. I'm going to add the link, and here it is. Note that as I do that, in any given assignment, Here's the assignment up top. I can continue to add. I could add a support document. I could add a fillable form from my drive. I could add a YouTube video. I could add a website. Perhaps I'm asking them to go do research. So within an, any given um, question, I can have multiple resources down here. I'm simply showing a link here today. I'm going to go ahead and click on Assign. And there it is. So it doesn't really give a great descriptor. I would have to do that in the fill in the form, uh, or excuse me, in the title, etc. cetera, um, to that. So I'm going to kind of organize some of my space here. Now, what does that look like for the student? Let's come back over here. And once again, uh, it's not going to reload automatically. I'm going to reload my page. And here I am with my assignment 2.1. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click on open and that doesn't get me uh, too far especially in this window I need to pay attention to what's up top right I can click on Google Forms up there so this is a little bit different than than the open-ended uh, document assignment alternately back here at my stream I could have just clicked on the hyperlink here and that would have taken me there and I'm going to type in my name I'm going to do a better job. I can send myself a copy of responses, which your students are welcome to do if you want them to. That's a feature that you can control when you're creating the form. I'm going to click on submit, and now uh, that's done, right? So I'm, I can click on another response if my teacher has allowed me to. But how do I turn that into my teacher? How do I say that, oh, this is done, right? I'm going to come back here to my sample class. And again, maybe it's a, you know, a long exercise that I had to go do some research and now I've done the form and uh, maybe this has taken place over a couple days. So I've logged back into Google Classroom and now I can go ahead and instead of clicking on the form, which is going to simply take me back to editing my work, I can now click on open and notice here that I've got an option to say mark as done. I could, of course, continue to add content if I wanted to. But now I'm going to click on Mark is done, and that's going to be the way that the teacher is told that I am done. So once I click on Mark is done, it's going to give me the option to ask, are you sure? I could always unsubmit it. Let me now bring my teacher viewpoint back in. Notice here once again under my teacher viewpoint, I can see that one is done. And... Um, in this particular case, because it is a form, notice that there's nothing for me to click on here. So in order for me to kind of look at their form results, I'm going to have to back out of here, and I myself will have to go directly to the form. Here's the form, and uh, once again, um, 
I'm not going to get into uh, showing you how to manipulate forms or how to how to do all of this stuff, but I can basically take a look at my responses once I've gotten back into my form, right? And then once again, just like for the student, I'm over here in my grading area. I would actually have to give a grade so that they know it's done and I can click on return. I can click on return. And once more, if I come back as the student, I can see that indeed it is returned. And if I click on it, I can see that I've got 100 out of 100 points. So this was a quick tutorial on how to add a form specifically, but note that you can also add multiple resources and have kids do multiple tasks within each assignment. The key is that when they're done, they're going to come back to the, the, to the general assignment here, open, and they're going to click on the mark is done or submit at that point. Um, I will be back uh, with a couple more tutorials, so talk to you later.